Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's Yee. You guys are here to help me with something. Yes. So I've been traveling around lately. I've been tasting foods from around the world. That's and right. I especially love ramen noodles. Who so I thought, it? you know, let's come back here because we do live in San Francisco esque area and we have access to all these different ethnic grocery stores. Yeah. Let's try some instant noodles from all around the world. Oh. Yeah. It's my favorite activity. I love instant noodles. I know it's bad for me, but it's one of my. I lived on it throughout middle school and high school, and now. Wait, when you eat ramen, do you eat two packets? Or three? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I always just eat one. I feel full. A lot of my thinner, really? very like it looks like you know they can't eat a lot, but of my friends okay. they can eat like three. Well, let us tell you guys what we have cooking so far in our little collection right. here. We got J Japanese ramen spicy sesame. Yeah. I don't know how to read that. That's, Me neither. That's my favorite brand. We have these uh, Penset Kenton oh. Chomin. This is from the Philippines. Ooh. Nice. This is Indomie, so in, it's Indonesia, of course. Okay. This is spicy beef flavor. Ooh, that and looks got good. us a beef and lime flavor. That looks Ooh. good. These are Penam Red Tom Gong noodles. Thai and Malaysian. We have Korean Jajamin. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is really expensive, actually. Whoa. Singapore Laksa Lamian. This Whoa. each pack is like $2. Oh, what? Yeah. That's like a meal. I know. And it's heavy. It's, it looks hefty. Yeah. But this is mama. Uh, oh, I had this before. This too. is Thai. Okay, that's Thai. This yeah. is good. Chinese. 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 From the brand Tong Yi. Tong Yi. Yeah, that's yeah. really popular. Yeah. Taiwanese. Ma, you guys probably don't know this. No. I, I, I was introduced to this when I was in Taiwan. It's absolutely beautiful. Man Han Da Chan. Oh, this you? is actually also by Uni. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What you else is by Uni? Tong Yi, yeah, this is the same brand, but this oh, is like a division of that. Same distributor, oh, really? Yeah, but this company. is a product of China, yeah. and I this think is, this is made this in Taiwan. This is made in Taiwan, yeah. definitely. And of course, we got the American... If, dude, I mean, are you, did you eat this? I ate this when I was a kid. Every Me dude, too. I ate Me it. Too. I Every always, single I day. I already tell you guys, would be my, my least favorite. Oh, yeah, of course, because Crap. bad memories, yeah. maybe. Let's start with the Japanese ramen spicy sesame. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Oh, don't, don't one feels saucy. Yeah, this, this is, is the the sauce. very oily. Yeah, and, and this, one that's is dry, like crunchy stuff. Ta da! Wow. So gotta, that looks legit. You gotta mix it. You gotta mix it up. That looks good. Uh, uh, uh. That's really good. It, it is miso flavor, right? So the soup is kind of thick. Smells very light, I gotta say. It smells, it smells like sesame. Miso. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. All got. Mmm. Excellent. It's a little sweeter than I thought it would be. Mm. It is it is a little meal. sweet, which is strange. Mm. I, I like this a lot. It's very, yeah. it almost feels like if you make this well, it almost doesn't feel like instant noodles. I will be adding hot oil into this. On a spicy scale of one to 10, it's like a two. All right, if you guys gonna rate it from one to 10, what would you give it? Give it a seven. I'm gonna give it also a seven yeah. and a half, and a half, seven yeah. and a half. I'll give it a seven, yep. because I feel like the noodles, they, I, I would I would have liked it more al dente. More, more mm -hmm. than than just take then don't boil it for so long. That's yeah, it. but I feel like there's there are some uh, instant noodles out there that if you boil, even if you boil it a little longer, it won't. It still stays pretty okay. nice and true. I like that. Yeah. yeah, actually, I know for a fact that brand the noodles get very uh, soft. soft. They, yeah. they do. They so do. you gotta watch the time. Mm. All right, let's do the Chinese one. Don't open it all the way. Right, don't open it all the way. So this is very typical of a Chinese ramen. They have this kind of pasty, yeah, oily, oily mixture. It looks in like here. fat. Yeah, it it's, does. Like, it's like lard, but that's and, and the toppings. This is the uh, dry toppings, the standard. And, and this is the powder, powder topping. Wow, that's why it tastes so good. And, and that's really thick. Really, and it comes with a fork. Yeah. Is a fork? Yeah, there's a fork in there. there. See, these Chinese ones always come with a fork. I, I like this whole setup. I really yeah. do. back in boarding school. Ooh, I love this trick. I love this trick. I love the fact that, because often when I buy ramen noodles, yeah. because like, you, if you don't have silverware, you're done. Yeah. You're done, you can't yeah. do anything. But I love right. it that they give you a fork. Well, here's the thing. If you don't have any, um, if you don't have a spoon and you don't have a fork, well here, they give you a fork, you're gonna need my hack. That's right. Or you just like, stick your face in. <laughs> 
Well, Ooh, I'm going to show you guys right now. Mm, that's, I can smell that from here. Yeah. Stir it? Wow, that smells really good. Stir it around? Yeah, you got it. So you got to stir this in. Ooh. Ooh. By the way, amongst all the ramens I've had in my life, my top two favorites so far has been Chinese ramen and Korean ramen. So in the soup, there's some not- Some scallions. There's, there's some scallions, there's no meat. No. Some spicy flakes. So it's pretty basic. In China, when they give us my little fork and I don't have a spoon, I just kind of make a makeshift liquid container out of this wow. with this with this and i'm telling you this is from back in boarding school days when we really didn't have anything okay so it's taking me forever right. now because it's I a cone but you make a cone out of the the wrapping wow. of the ramen right and you just use this That's as some innovative you stuff <laughs> so you scoop your, the soup mm -hmm. what, what wow. if, why don't you just drink it from the thing yeah why don't you drink you, the could, thing? you could but here's the thing the noodles get really hot and so sometimes we'll just scoop some noodles in here oh, for it to cool off. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a trick, I mean, guys. Yeah. Oh, it smells, mm, smells very beefy. Mm. Yeah. I really like this mm. flavor. Mm. It's got much better, bigger uh, bite than the Japanese one. Mm -hmm. There's a spice. Mm -hmm. um, the ramen a little soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah but because you... it, it's actually ready in like one minute. Mm. These ramen, you don't want to keep them cooking for too long. I almost feel like I'm drinking hot pot soup. Yeah. It's oily. Mm. But I like the beefy flavor of it. Yeah. So I will give this an eight. I would give it an eight just because it's so nostalgic for me. Yeah. And also, just I like this flavor. Mm -hmm. I give it yes. a I give it a seven. I mean, I, I think you guys like it a little more than me, but I won't refuse it. And these are uh, Philippine Philippine noodles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So apparently, you have to make the sauce on the side. the seasoning pack was not enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the not, color is not. so pale. I'm kind of expecting a, a yeah. thorough coating. Maybe it's just, it's very flavorful. I think so. It's, it smells good. It smells really good. It smells garlicky. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. It's powerful. That seasoning was powerful. It is really it's powerful. So that is awesome. It's a little salty. goes a long way. Oh, that flavor is great. Mm. Oh my God. Is that flavorful enough, Mike? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. It's garlicky, spicy, mm. spicy. Kind of sweet and sour. It's a little, very, yeah. How to pick the perfect noodles to go along with it. Because mm -hmm. I feel like these noodles, they're perfect. They're chewy, they're hearty. So delicious. That's good, that's right. good. I give that an 8.5. Eight. Eight. Eight, the same Eight. as last time? Yeah. Oh my God. Because last one has a special place in my heart. Uh, 8.58, 8. I give it an 8. 8.5, mm -hmm. 8. that was really wow. good, really, really good. Let's do this. Yeah, the Thai Ooh, one. Hi, Mama Sun La Nong Tang Shower Mian. Very unique. It's limey. Mm -hmm. It's basically tom it's it's not like the tom yum that you get at the Thai restaurant mm -hmm. exactly. It's got its own thing going on. You know why? What's that? It's not as concentrated. It's not. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very much watered down version of that. Mm -hmm. But the emphasized flavor here is the lime. Yeah. It's so much lime flavor, which is not bad, but I feel like it's kind of lacking in other flavors. You know what? I'll give this one. I'll give this one a uh, seven. I think seven also. Like I will. Five. Yeah, I will really. I would gladly eat this anytime. Yeah. I like it a lot, but I also feel like, and this applies to almost every Tom Yum instant noodle I, I had, mm -hmm. is that when they claim to be this kind of like, you know, Thai flavor, but they don't really taste like that. Yeah. Let's move on right. to our next one. Let's do it. How about, how about we do this fancy one? Ooh. Yeah. Singapore laksa premium noodle in aromatic coconut soup. Oh I, my I gosh. have high expectations for this because this is expensive. This is expensive. It cooks in what? seven minutes. That's long. Using premium blah 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 steam air dry what? noodles. Okay, so it's using premium prima taste paste. Okay. Not seasoned powder. Steamed air dried noodle, not fried. Holy cow.
I mean, this is definitely the most cumbersome noodle to cook. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't understand why they asked for seven minutes, because look how thick yeah, this thing thick. is. thick. When we were cooking this, all I smelled was coconut, and now I don't smell coconut, all I smell is shrimp. I smell a lot I of seafood. I smell seafood. shrimp. I smell shrimp. Yeah. cooking. Oh, yeah. Bon appetit. Okay. I'll tell you what. You okay. go ahead. It's definitely, if you don't know what came from a package, mm. it, it's definitely fancy. It's okay? fancy. Mm. It's definitely like something you could, could foresee getting it somewhere. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like if you came to my restaurant, I had a restaurant and I gave you this, you'd be like, yeah, that definitely came from your kitchen. I mean, it doesn't taste, <laughs> it doesn't taste great, but it definitely came from my kitchen. Dude, dude, you're going to give people ideas, man. They're going to go buy this ramen and serve it. But ultimately it comes down to taste. So how's it? I think it's average. Where did the coconut go? Because that's my favorite part of the soup. I feel like noodles are excellent. They are. Noodles are great. They're really good. They feel like restaurant made. Yep. They don't feel like instant noodles. Like I would give this a 6.5 okay. total. The noodles are phenomenal. Fantastic. I give the noodles like an 8.59. Yeah. Okay. Me the too. soup, I give it like a six. You know why? Yeah. Because I feel like this is the type of soup that if you eat a bunch, you're gonna feel sick. Yeah. yeah like yeah. this is too Creamy. much cream. We can either do, do Indo soup or Indo no soup. Like I mean, we could have both. We could have both. Wow, something smells really beefy. Mmm, and I think what? it's this. We cooked everything in one bowl and we'll just share it from here. Okay. Okay. It's a little sweet. Yeah. It's too sweet. Too sweet. Mm. It's way too sweet. I like the flavor, I like the beef flavor, but it's way too sweet. sweet. If it was savory, this thing would be like really good. It definitely mimics beef flavoring very well. Yeah. Mm. Like, I would think I have pieces of stewed beef with these noodles. Oh, definitely. It's very spicy. Mm. I give that a 6.5. Yeah, 6.5. I wouldn't hit the seven bench. No, 6.5, yeah. same. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's try this counterpart. Ooh, okay. This is the key lime. It's supposed to be beef and lime flavor. It's kind of plain. It's kind of, it tastes like curry a little bit, but I, I feel like there's not much going on. But this one is not very flavorful. Nah. It's just salty, it's savory, that's mm -hmm. it. It doesn't have a beef and lime flavor to it that mm. much. Mm -hmm. And not limey at all. Mm -hmm. I'd do four, you know why? Because this isn't much better than the American chicken. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna give that like a two. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's much better. Nothing's worse than that thing. Yeah. This I one mean, just tastes like chicken, to be honest. Yeah. It doesn't even taste like beef. I mean, it's, it's basically beef. the wheels turning, but the hamster's dead. Oh, you know? Ooh, it's that's like, morbid. All right, next, let's right. do... Uh, Let's oh. do this one. <laughs> but this one's from Malaysia. It's from gotcha. Malaysia. Okay. Putting all this in there. Yeah, yeah put it in do there. it, do it, do it. We have to taste it that as well. That looks like you just took a poo with a packet. I knew you were going to say that. How Guys, do I know this? I'm going to put all of it in too there. Well. There's something just mesmerizing about pouring hot water over a poo mountain of, of I sauce. I know, right? I know, indeed, indeed. <laughs> oh. I was like, Did you say fun. poo mountain? Yeah, poo mountain. Whoa. Mm. Man, whoa, what is going on? It's like sour, it's like it's kind really of sour. gallant, like that gingery, spicy. Um, really sour. Mm. Oh, I don't hate it. I mean, honestly, I don't hate it. Now it's, that I've taken the time to taste the soup, because the noodles are not the way I like it because it's a little undercooked, but mm -hmm. I feel like if you cook this in a pot and put some other stuff in it, you know, it could be decent. I gave it a 6.5. Mm, six. Six? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was not, not that good. It tastes a little artificial because there's a flavor that I can't put my finger on. How come I'm tasting beef? I'm because not even have, tasting because beef, Because you have man. beef remnants oh, no, from that's the last remnant. one. Let's move on mm. to Korea. So jajangmyeon, right? That's like, most people don't know, it, it was created in China. Right, mm. and in Chinese it's... Jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon. And I feel like the Korean version 
in the restaurants, it's it usually has uh, onions, a lot of onions, yep. some potatoes, yep. a little bit of meat. In the Chinese version, there could be nothing but meat. Mm. It, it's usually only meat and onions, right? No, there's no onions there's in the no Chinese onions? version. No. Oh, okay. But okay. Put, in my family, they'll put some like kongwa on yeah, like cucumber, oh, cucumber on, on the top. Yeah. Like, top. yeah. That's not meat. That's meat. That's meat. Yeah. I think that's just uh, that's that's uh, potato. No, that's yeah. meat right here. It's meat. Yo, that's potato. That's yeah. And then there's meat. What? So it's like dehydrated meat. Yeah. I'll tell you guys. I mean, this is this was not a fake video. This was shot in one day. So we've just eaten. Like, oh no, this is like our. You know, we've each eaten probably three packs. No, of we're product. not done. We're not done, guys. Okay. I grabbed something questionable. Looks like meat. All right. It's good. It's good. I like. I really like this. Meal. You like it? I like it. Ooh. I like it. It's a. It, I. I've actually never had Korean um, jajangmyeon before, and so the first time it's a little shocking to me because it tastes very different from the Chinese one. Mm -hmm. right. But I think that I think it's very flavorful. I love the authenticness of the noodle. Like somehow these. The Korean noodles, when they're dry, the dry noodles, they all have these amazing noodle textures. Remember that really, um, really spicy one? Mm -hmm. This is really good. This noodle <clears throat> is probably my favorite noodle mm. of all the things we had. Mm. They're like perfectly round al dente. Mm. They give you a lot of sauce. That's they insane. give you a lot of sauce. What I usually do is, I put two packs of noodles in there, one pack of sauce. Whoa! Oh. But I like these. I give these a solid eight. Mm. I would give these a 7.5. Yes, I was gonna say 7.5. Mm. Here we go, guys. Uh, let's let's start with this nasty because we're putting this off, guys. Because this is so nasty. We're because we've all had this. We're down to the worst and the best, possibly. Possibly, yeah. Oh, possibly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we we saved uh this these these are literally if you put this is like the the the, the marsh madness where you have a first a first seed versus a 15 seed. 16th seed. A 16th seed. Like yeah. literally the worst thing in this planet yeah. when it comes to these noodles and yeah. possibly one of the best. Possibly, yeah. So let's talk about this. Okay. Mar Maruchan. Mar Mar Marichan. Okay, look, if you're eating this noodle, you're not smiling like this kid. You're not. Because this is this this noodle is gonna depress you. Oh. You know what's funny? Like I we used to eat this thing called top ramen, but this is not top ramen. Oh um, yeah, top ramen, yeah. There's also one called cup noodle. Yeah. Cup noodle, cup noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that you know what's funny? Maruchan also almost sounds Asian, but it's actually it it's, says made in USA yeah. and pro entirely a USA company, yeah. so I, mean, I don't know. This is so nasty. But that's, that's do you nasty. realize that I thought for probably 15, 20 years that that was in, that's what instant noodle was. Yeah, because you you were not Asian for that long. Well, because no one introduced it to me. Like you don't eat that much ramen every no. day, but it's really hurt. Like she's like, <laughs> I literally eat ramen all you the time. You know why? Why is that? Because like a little bowl of ramen like this yeah. literally is like five hundred calories in there. It is no, <laughs> it's at least, insane. At least. And then you eat it, you're like, that, that was like a one biter. And by the way, you can never open this properly. Right. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, okay. So the, so so the that, sauce is on there. That that's. Pretty nasty, right? Right. Like, yeah. That's nasty. Yeah, we got the dehydrated vegetables. I know, just floating on top of there. Like that is just. Let me, let me and it's like me. neon colored. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I don't trust those peas. I feel like those peas will kill you. If you take it out, the noodle is only like this much. Oh yeah. I know. I know. I know. If, if you peel it, you this, see these yeah. are all empty down here. It's, it's it's it tricks you. You think that's all noodle. Oh, and then you see it melting all of this. All of no, this. why is it there neon? And they'll and they'll cook in like three seconds. Yeah, yes, because okay, the, the noodles are such horrible quality. Rand for me. Oh my god. Oh, god. That that <sighs> signature smell. Yo. Oh, that signature Yo. smell. And, and not only it's that, the smell of dehydration. Not only that, that. but like the, the foam on top. It's like it's like it's it's this weird color. It's it's not. It's like oh my god. What color is that? I know it's neon. It's neon. Chicken is not ever. neon. That smell is so like, it's like McDonald's fries. Like, you know, if you smell this, you're like somebody's making in chicken flavored instant noodle. To get the full effect, my, my, you gotta eat it out of the cup. So I'll eat it last, because I don't care about double dip. All right, so fine. You, you can eat it first. Yeah, oh, God, so nasty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, don't let it go in your oh, system. Dude. It's dude. gonna try to crawl out. Dude, it's like dude. still alive. Dude. Stuff is so gross. 
it's and like the taste. Yo, and, and let me tell you, man, the noodle consistency is unlike Dude, anything I've ever tasted. You mean it's powder? <laughs> like that thing will literally fall apart. If Yo, you look at it. You have to drink some of the soup. Like yeah, you, you just gotta have take to. a sip. A well, sip of the soup. You gotta drink oh, the soup. Yeah. So gross. Do it. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Right. Let's do it, bro. Oh, I can normally tolerate it if I'm hungry. Well. But I can't tolerate it. It's like this. eating strands of cardboard <laughs> that's soaked in salt. Mmm, oh yeah. And it, and it somehow, I will tell you though, eating it from the cup tastes better than eating it from no, the No, it bowl. doesn't. Nothing can make that thing taste good. Mm. I'll tell you, if I was hungry, I'll eat this. Now, this could potentially be number one. Yeah. This is from the land of Taiwan. And uh, this is their most popular, one of their most popular ramen noodles. Wow. Now, you guys never had this, right? No, no I never. I've had this. Yeah. Ooh. And I know like... some secrets Ooh. about it. Ooh. Secrets? So, Tell what us. do you mean? Well, you'll see. Okay. You'll see in the seasoning packet. No. You guys will be very surprised. So, what? Okay. So, whoa. So, look at that packet. Whoa. Look at that seasoning packet. You know whoa. why it's so thick? Why? Because there's actually real chunks of beef inside. No. Oh. Like on the picture. My no. gosh. And then you got the paste, the lard paste, which looks good, and then the powder. Oh my, this? This, what is this? So they packaged beef in there. Yeah. And by the way, the noodles are, are very interesting. They're flat and Yeah, they're thick. like egg noodles. Oh yeah, powder packing Powder pack one. it in, you can tell that's very beefy. Yeah, because very um, beefy. That color. Scallion looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is not just hongsao nu mian, it's like tung xiang or something Yeah. Like oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Get so all in there, there. There's the oil. Oh, oh it's oh, like a curry. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, what is. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 we got a real piece of beef! Holy crap! This oh, is insanity. You know, oh, when you god. sign up, oh, when you get instant noodle, this is oh, not what you think. No, this is no. not. This much, is an actual meal. Oh, yeah. How this much is, is this? Actual stuff in there. 30. So it's like a dollar. It's like a dollar. Oh my god. It's like a dollar. Oh! Oh my gosh, that looks... That looks done, right? That looks insanely legit. So let's... Oh, the, the rope beef. Oh, does it feel done? It feels... It feels... Yeah, it feels like it's coming apart pretty easily, which is a sign that it's done. That literally... That's a real piece of beef. Wow, that's a real piece of beef, yeah. In an, in, and that's huge. That's got the tendon on there. It's not even like the small... That's literally what you'll see a Taiwanese uh, beef noodle soup in a restaurant. Yeah. We should open a restaurant here in America, sell this, but for like 10 bucks and just use one of these. They look pretty tender too. Because it yeah, looks they look legit. very tender. Oh, that is so good. It tastes like a real noodle. Yo, if you just told me this was a bowl of noodles and it mm. wasn't instant, I believe you. I think the noodles, mm. if you cook it a little longer, They'll seem more like restaurant noodles. Yeah. Right now, because the texture is kind of undercooked. Yeah, that's so right. So it gives a it gives it away, but the soup itself oh, is fantastic. essentially just yeah. restaurant. Quality. I need the beef. I'm gonna put some hot oil in there. That'd be great. This beef is just like beef. <laughs> I didn't know it came out of a packet. <laughs> I'm gonna have this beef now too. Yo, no, that's beef. Yo, let's 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 just sell this here. People literally, I mean, if you sell this like let's say in Arkansas. Come on, like, yo, how an authentic Tony's noodle soup? You know what I love about this soup? It's that it's it's so it's got a lot of complex complexity in the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like shin, but you know, it's got like beef flavor. Yo, Taiwan people treat their ramen seriously. Mm, they legit, they take it like, seriously. this is like part of their thing where they're mm. like, we're proud of Holy this. Crap. And we want to make this great. So, what do you guys give this? Nine. It's definitely almost, I mean, I can't give anything a 10 just because, like, yeah. it's a 10. Like, no one gets a 10. Come on. No one gets a 10? Oh, except. <laughs> <laughs> except for you, my dear. Okay. No cheese in this ramen topic. <laughs> I would give this a 9 as well because I think it's the best one out of all the ones that we had. I like this one. Okay. I also really like the one we had where we put three packs together. Yes. That's, I, I love yes. that one. Well, the, the, the Philippine one. The Philippine one? Oh, I that's love that one. That one's delicious. That's definitely top three. I also like the Thai noodles, the first Thai. The, uh, that limey, I love that limey, yeah. oh, that one's limey good too. flavor, man. I like that. Yeah, so. you know, like these are just like one kind, like of each country yeah. only pick one kind. Right, like, because we can't eat yeah, all of them. All of them. This was already too much. I mean, the Korean mm. one, for example, we just chose the jajangmyeon, but so like many. I think that there's a lot of great Korean yeah. ramens that are like really good too. Yeah. But um, we, you know, sorry, I'm in a ramen coma right now, so you guys 
I'm like disoriented. <laughs> but it's, it's, so it's kind of cool. We literally took a trip around the world we did. through ramen. Yeah. We did. That's, That's awesome. Amazing. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later. <laughs>